Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cask and Kira Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today I'm pretty stoked about what we're gonna be cooking. We were gifted a bison chuck roast from Benjamin Lee Bison, and we're gonna turn that into burnt ends. So that's a good idea what you'll get when you order from Benjamin Lee Bison. They have really nice packaging and really nice marketing material. Just wanted to give you a shot of that real quick to let you see what you would get if you ordered from them. Okay guys, so we're back at the cutting board. What I'm gonna do is cut these into uh, strips like this. And then I'm going to come back against those strips and cut them perpendicular. And then we're going to season them. We're going to use uh, coarse ground salt and uh, 16 mesh ground black pepper. And uh, we're also later in the cook, we're going to hit it with some honey hog meat church barbecue rub. So let's get to slicing these up. Uh, one of the things I really love about bison is that it's lean and it's still delicious. I mean, I say it's lean, it's not as lean as you might think. I mean, you can see some marbling in there, right? I mean, there's still some fat there. Um, but an interesting fact about bison is that uh, it does have a little bit less cholesterol than beef. It also has about the same amount or maybe even a little more protein, uh, you know, ratio wise. Um, it's just a really healthy choice. That's a really beautiful slice right there. Maybe they'll, maybe uh, Benjamin Lee Bison will send me another, another roast one of these days. Maybe a brisket. Hint, hint. Um, so yeah, that, I mean that's really pretty there. And there's there's a little bit of trimming that I'm going to do, like this hard fat. We'll just knock that off, knock that off, because that's not going to render. That's not going to be good for anybody. Um, so yeah, I mean look how look how pretty that is. That's just a really nice looking slice. Um, I mean I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to cook that just all the time. So anyway, we're gonna get these sliced up. So these are gonna be pretty big size burnt ends. You know, when you use a regular chuck roast for burnt ends, a, a beef chuck roast, I guess I should clarify. In the barbecue world, they're called poor man's burnt ends. And the reason for that is because chuck roast is traditionally a, a lot less expensive than the, uh, you know, full packer cut brisket and which is, you know, where the burn ends come from on top of the brisket towards the back on the point end. See, that's just, that's a beautiful cut of bison. I mean, I just think that's, I think that's great. If I haven't mentioned before, I'm gonna put the link, I put a link to Benjamin Lee Bison's website in the description box below. So be sure and check them out. And see, there's some hard fat right there. It's kind of like brisket. I mean, there's, there's pieces of brisket like on the deckle that just don't render. And you gotta carve some of that out because it's just, it ends up being chewy and very unappetizing. And that's with any cut of beef. So bison's, you know, pretty much the same kind of deal. There's some silver skin. Uh, we'll take care of that. They have steak um, on their website. They have brisket, although it looks like they were sold out when I checked the other day. You can, you can go check yourself and see if they're back in stock. But that's something I'm really interested in doing is, is a whole packer brisket. All right, through the magic of time, went ahead and got all these uh, cubed up and discarded some of the hard fat and some of the pieces that I, I'm probably gonna save for sausage later. So we're gonna go ahead and apply a mixture of um, salt and pepper, as I mentioned earlier, for texture. And I think later in the cook, we're gonna come back and hit it with some, uh, some meat church, honey hog barbecue. So let's get the rub on. We'll go pretty heavy. We want some good texture on these. Toss these around a little bit, make sure that every piece gets some rub applied. 
and then we'll put it on the wire rack and throw it on the smoker. Our smoker's about up to temp right now. It's actually a little higher than I'd like it. It's at 282, but I'm gonna get it down there, down in the 225 to 250 range and just kind of maintain throughout that cook. A little hard piece of fat there that I missed. All right, we'll get these off to the side. Get this wire rack ready. And I'll go ahead and hit that wire rack with uh, a little bit of cooking oil just to make sure the burn ends don't stick. It looks pretty good to me. I'll see you at the smoker. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get these on the blaze, Kamado. We're up to temp. Make sure it fits. Looks good. Hey, there's a werewolf in my backyard. You get out of here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull these bison burnt ends off the grill and put them on this foil. And I'm gonna hit them with some of this rub because they're looking pretty good right now. I like the color that they've, that they've gotten. It's kind of a mahogany. It's what I usually look for. So you can take a look at that. And they're really tender. I went ahead and probed a few of these and um, they're about where we want them. But we're gonna doctor them up just a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, there's still some resistance, but we're getting close. So let's take these off the wire rack and get them on this foil and we'll kind of make a, a foil boat to let these guys hang out in. And we're gonna apply some more rub, like I said. We'll just put that to the side. Today we're gonna to be using a honey hog rub. It's by Meat Church. Pretty big fan of their products. Okay, so I'm a big fan of Wright's Barbecue in Northwest Arkansas. So we're gonna apply some of this to the, uh, to the foil boat, if you will, and this will kind of glaze things up for us. I'm not gonna go real, real heavy. Just enough to give it that color and that glaze that we'd like to have at the end of the cook. The wind isn't wanting to cooperate with me today, that's for one, that's for sure. And we'll add just a little bit more moisture. All right, so we're also gonna add some apple cider vinegar in here. There's some water in there too, so I mixed it half and half, half apple cider vinegar and half water. That's plenty. So we'll put this off to the side. All right, let me hit that a little bit more, some more sauce. Okay, let's go ahead and make our foil boat. Strategically placed marketing items to this side. Another cool thing about Benjamin Lee Bison, I think I mentioned it before, it's a family owned business but they make sure that their bison are stress-free, which is important. Um, you know, you've heard horror stories about some of these cattle ranches and, and beef farms or whatever you want to call them. And uh, a lot of stress produces hormones that can affect the meat, the quality of the meat. And uh, they have three core values that they go by. And I'll get to that in just a bit. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna put this boat, that's what we're gonna call it today, back on the pit and let these go for a little while longer. You know, I'm not really sure what the end result's gonna be as far as cook time and, and that sort of thing, but we're gonna to learn together. So I'll see you back when these are uh, nice and tender and we'll probably dust them again right before, uh, right before we chow down. So we'll see you guys in a little bit.
Okay guys, I've checked these burn ends already and they are probing very, very tender. So they're ready to come off the smoker. So we're gonna plate them up and show you what we came up with. Okay guys, so now it's time for the moment of truth. We've cooked these for about three hours. The last hour, I went ahead and sauced them with um, Wright's barbecue sauce and uh, added a little bit more rub to them, the same rub that we used early, the meat church, um, honey barbecue. So let's get into one of these and see what we got. The color is spot on. Um, you can see the pepper and the, uh, the honey barbecue rub. And that sauce that Wright's makes has a lot of pepper in it as well. So let's see how these turned out. Oh yeah, that is delicious. Definitely recommend getting some bison from Benjamin Lee Bison. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video today and I really want to send a shout out and a big thank you to Kyle Reynolds over at Benjamin Lee Bison for uh, you know sending me some food to work with today. The, uh, the chuck roast turned out great and I'm gonna put out another video. They also sent me some ground uh, bison so I'll, I'll do something with that. I don't know if it's gonna be tacos or some sort of, I don't know what it's gonna be. We'll find out. Uh, once again, just a big thank you to them. They're a great company. Uh, you need to go check out their website. I left it in the description box below. Uh, they're farm to table, they're family owned, and they're out of Oklahoma, so it's close by. I also wanted to mention something that I really liked about uh, Benjamin Lee Bison when I got on their website and started to learn more about the company, uh, is that they go by three core values. Uh, those values are transparency, quality, and responsibility, and I think that's really important, especially responsibility. Uh, you've seen some horror stories about the way some animals are raised and uh, it makes you kind of, you know, think twice about what you're buying. Uh, I don't have to worry about that with Benjamin Lee Bison and you don't either. So with that said, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q where whiskey and barbecue meet.